Hi everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching and I really needed to make this video. I have so much stuff to declutter and get out of my house. I'm really excited that I can film this and like send it on its way <laughs> to a good home somewhere else. Uh, so I've broken up into a couple different types. Most of this stuff, 90% of the stuff is stuff you have already seen. So I want to start with the stuff that you haven't seen yet if you watch my videos, and that is face wash. If you remember, I just finished a project pan called Start the Year Off Panning, and I was trying to use up a face wash in there, and it was like this bar soap thing, supposed to bubble, didn't even touch it, because I was using another face wash the entire time. And so I realized I had 14 bottles of face wash, which is like, 13 too many. Now, when I decluttered it, I couldn't get rid of all 14, 13 bottles. It was, I just wasn't, I wasn't in the mindset to do that. But I did get rid of quite a few and I passed them on to my husband. So like the bar that I had, like that bubble bar, I actually gave my husband because it's not one that I think I'm ever going to use. Like I don't think bar soap's really where I'm at in life, but he loves bar soap. He uses bar soap all the time to wash his face. So I'm hoping the Kaolin one will work for him. But let me show you the other ones I ended up decluttering. Um, and here we go. The first one, Tony Moly Happy Sweet Holiday Cream Foam Cleanser. I've never tried it, I don't know. I just know that I haven't reached this in two years. It's time for it to go. The L'Oreal Paris Pure Clay Cleanser Detox Brightening Clay to Mousse. Sounds amazing, sounds really interesting. Um, just a little sample size. They haven't used it in two years. The Estee Lauder Advanced Night Micro Cleansing Foam. I got this as a free gift. I haven't used it. I think I've had that for like six months. The T Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Cloud Cream Cleanser. I bought this in a kit, or I got it as a gift as a kit. I am disappointed in myself, but I really like the moisturizer that goes with this. <laughs> but um, I want my cleansers in a pump, just like my soap. It's my personal preference. This is going away. The Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. I got this in like my very first birch box or second birch box. This definitely needs to be thrown away. This is like six years old. <laughs> um, I forgot I even had this. This is going away. And then for the last but not least makeup remover is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Deep Dive Makeup Remover Cleansing Gel. I am never going to reach for anything like this. It's not really my jam. So, whew, six cleansers are out. Like I said, I did pass them on to my husband. I now have about six in my collection because I think I passed him two. Um, oh my God, does that mean I have more than 15? Oh my God, it's way too much. It's way too much. I think I have about seven remaining. That's all you need to know. It's gonna take me seven years to use those up. <laughs> but those are the ones I just couldn't like physically get rid of. Like I needed to hold on to them. But I think I did an okay job, even though I got rid of mostly sample sizes. It counts. Um, I do have two skincare items. I decluttered this out of that project pan that I just mentioned. This is the Olay Anti-Aging Nightly Purifying Micro Gel. It doesn't work with my like the system I've got going on. Uh, this is the same way. It just doesn't fit with my system. This is a Juice Beauty Green Apple Peel Full Strength. It's just not, it's not what I'm looking for, really. So I'm going to let that go. Okay, those you've seen, that's all skincare. The rest is all makeup <laughs> I'm getting rid of. Oh, it's like so much money sitting in front of me, but I'm gonna pretend like the money's already gone. Let's be real here, the money is already gone. I just gotta move forward and make smarter purchases. Okay, one month, one palette, eyeshadow palette. Storybooks Cosmetics, I got the fairy tale uh, Little Briar Rose. This made my eyes itch. It's not old, it just, there's a pigment in there that makes my eyes itch. I also have quite a few things from my advent calendars. I actually have a total of five here um, from Miss Lynn. Oh, if you don't know my advent calendars, I'll go ahead and link those up here so you can see them. I love my advent calendar unboxings. I open them every two weeks. It's so much fun to try new stuff, but I have eyelashes. I'm just not, just not that type of girl. I don't know. Do you guys want to see a makeup tutorial, by the way? I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, you know, I have boring makeup, but I don't think people wear crazy makeup every day. Like, this is 
this is it. I think it just polishes the look and I think it adds like a little interest, but I don't think it's crazy. I don't know. If you'd be interested, let me know. If you don't care because you just want to see me Project Pan things, let me know that too. <laughs> I love Project Pan videos. I like seeing like how things progress, which is why I make this. But <laughs> if you want to see a tutorial, maybe I'll try that. I don't know. We'll see. Um, the Miss Lynn, I love it. Eyeshadow palette. Uh, you guys know this just wasn't my shade palette. Just not a teal type of person. I am jealous though of people who can wear teal. I think it's beautiful. Lip gloss from Miss Lynn, Lolly Ice Lip Gloss. It wasn't bad, it just wasn't amazing. The scent is really what kind of tipped it over the edge to know for me. I am not a cherry fan. No cherry. <laughs> The other things from my advent calendar, I've got this wet and wild, loose glitter, just don't need it. And then the Rival de Loop Natural Lift Compact Powder. This actually made me look powdery, which is a no-go for me. In my March Madness! I'm so sad that whole like series is gone. I had so much fun testing all those lip products. It was hard, hard work to do. And, like figure out why I like something or why I don't like something. Like what's the packaging that I like? How do I want to carry it around? How do I apply my makeup? Like all these questions were going through my head and ended up decluttering quite a few things. Um, most of the lip glosses that went bad, I've already thrown away. Like those you won't see my declutter. They have made their way safely into the circular file. <laughs> But there are a few things I'm going to see if my friends want. These are things I cannot clean, which is gross, but maybe my friends will forgive me for that. These mostly came from glosses and or liquid lipsticks. These are the ones I thought were like good enough to maybe pass on. The Revlon HD Matte Lip Color. I'm getting rid of this. This one was in the shade Flirt, just not the right shade for me. The Hard Candy Velvet Mousse Matte Lip Color. Super sheer, like surprisingly sheer. Like, it was hot pink, it wasn't red. Not what I was looking for. The Milani Power Up Rin Raspberry Tart. Super sticky formula, not for me. The Altera Lipstick. This is in the shade Terra. The color wasn't quite right for me, and the formula was super thick. Um, it was almost like a dry formula, so not something I really am looking for in my lip products. And then the Stay Matte. Uh, liquid lip color Rimmel, Rimmel brand, I don't know, just it, it did not make me want to use it again, that was a small one. And last but certainly not least are my nail polishes. So this again isn't stuff that went bad, this is stuff that I'm just gonna like pass on to my friends and family. If you want to see more about nail polishes, I'm filming today later my 100 polish challenge, which I'm super excited about, and it's kind of like my chance to test different nail polishes. I try, I'm trying to do 100 this year, which is a lot of nail polishes, but I've been killing it, and these are the ones I've decided to declutter. So, the ones I've decided to declutter are this Julep nail polish. This is like a purple shimmer in Vinzy. It's just too dark of a polish. This one's actually not in my 100 nail polish, but I know I'm not gonna keep it. This is Beauty Woman, I don't know, in the shade Fantasy. It's one of those cheap bottles of nail polish that you get like at Christmas time. It's not really what I'm looking for. And I have that color in other ones. I've got the Julep in Gina, beautiful pink. I love that one, just, I love the idea of that one. I like it in the bottle, not on the nails. This is the Rival de Loop Gel Look Nail Polish in Ice Flower. I've got three other baby blues. Don't need this baby blue, because four is four too many. <laughs> three is three too many, but I'm going to keep those three. This is the Nails Ink Dream Dust. Love this formula. Hate this shade. So, I talk fast, but there's a lot of stuff I'm looking forward to get rid of. I'm excited to start with a clean basket. I want all my declutters gone. I don't want it anymore in my life. I am excited to pass these on to friends and family. I think some of them are really going to like it much more than me, and that's really all I want. I want my money to be spent with my friends and family, and I hope they enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you were one for us of your day. Happy decluttering, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.